Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Now, due to those companion quests, our rest was interrupted, I believe. Or was it? No, it wasn't. It's just that our buffs last so long that uh, <laughs> they're still active. Okay, well, let's head back into the uh, city. Um, we don't have any... Um, We don't have any of... Why did they drop? We don't have any of the um, middle city um, travel coins yet. So we'll use the hands portal. Duty calls. Okay, legendary proportions is a great waiting. spell, but my tail is restless. The road awaits. Rely on me. Let's Let just put it that is almost time. not all the, always that great. I welcome your company. Yeah. Everyone counts on me. We should prepare. Could you go somewhere else, Dunfix? You're massive. Focus on the goal. <laughs> Nice. Pull Jeff. Pick that. Pretty good, aren't I? The finger freezer. And a magic essence. I know what to do. Okay, if you guys can gather up again somehow. Good, and then we'll head up here. Our duty calls. I think this mortal will fetch a fetch a good price at the flesh markets. Let's bind him up and trade. Take him to the slave traders before he makes a fuss. Yeah, I'm really Cover worried me, about right? you guys. Elder Rock. They can be a bit annoying. The light take you. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? I even forgot to cast haste. Together we stand. And then we'll climb up Thanks, here. Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. I think we've mostly done with the lower city, but I know there are a ahead. couple more things we need to do here.
An interesting tower. Just looking around to see if there is any loot that I might have missed somewhere. That might require a dimension door or something. That doesn't require a dimension door, we can actually just walk right out there. Okay, you guys are rude. Let's have some fun. I don't like rude people. Rumbling Falchion. Plus five Thundering Falchion that grants a plus five competence bonus on combat maneuvers. If the wielder succeeds at a Sunder armor maneuver, they get plus one circumstance bonus for armor class for one round. In addition, they don't get penalty to armor class for cleaving. Is Falchion the weapon that I'm using? This one is better. Like, Legendary Proportions is a great spell, but it is really annoying when it comes to things that end up being in the way. Their hitboxes become massive. What's this? The Grim Mansion. I think it's the Grim Mansion. I think that is Aru's quest. No, it seems to be some random location. I'm all ears. Can't hide from me. Who? Oh, me? No this idea. is my kind of work. I don't mind though. This is my kind of work. Local resistance plus five. That's always useful. I know the way. It's a quest location. We'll probably be sent back here. Going to the slave markets, or rather the flesh markets. I saw a knowledge world. Is that up there. The flesh markets are one of the largest slave markets in the Abyss. Since the opening of the world wound, it has been flooded with captives from Golarion. Let's see here. Hold on one moment. 
There we go, sorry about that. So... Cares. We'll go through. Uh, I'm looking for someone in specific... Epsamira. Yeah, then. Yeah, we have to watch this cutscene. Something, something. Master Sarzaxis is delighted to behold Lady Hepsamira and Lady Shamira. A great honor for him. How many is this to? Samira is looking to buy some slaves. The best slaves. It's for an important job. Yeah, that thing. Allow me to present this fine specimen. An extraordinary belligerent, destructive and vicious slave. He killed seven hunters before his capture. Shut your mouth, or the breath stinks. I don't need gladiators or bodyguard. I'm looking for a pack of strong demons, ones who are not very bright and can obey orders. Her, her, her. In that case, perhaps my lady would be interested in this batch of creatures recently captured in the lower city. They're all strong and quite stupid. Epsamira, what do you want with these puny creatures? They're small fry fit only to be cannon fodder for the crusaders. I would suggest... They seem fine to me. Finish the preparations and then send them to the harem, harem of ardent dreams and be quick about it. I have no clue what that was about. Ah! That guy again. A dark-haired young man stares up at the ugly lump of flesh hovering in the air. Hello up there. I am blinded by your beauty. Please, descend to this humble mortal and grant me the honor of a date with you. Beauty, are you out of your mind? The young man smiles and raises a finger to his lips. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. The demon gives an indignant snort and begins to gurgle angrily. His tiefling slaves translate, Master Zar Zarzaxis says you have ten seconds to get out of his sight or will command his lackeys to gouge out your eyes. Alright, I can take a hint. I'm leaving. The young man backs away and jots something down in his notebook. Done. Excellent source material. Now I'll go have a drink or two in the tavern and get to work. Yes. Okay, I was looking for Venture Captain Gristoff. A lean old man with his back as stiff as pike staff casts a piercing look at you. His grey hair and luxurious sideburns grant him an imposing and significant demeanor. Greetings. I am Count Gristoff Rolano. I have the honor of serving as a venture captain of the Pathfinder Society, heading the branch of the Society Lanushinera and its adjacent territories. If you need the services of Pathfinders, I can be of assistance. Casting a sharp look at you, Gristoff hands you a sealed letter. I admit your appearance here did not surprise me because I recently received this letter. It is addressed to you and I have held it in, anticip in anticipation of your arrival. The letter appears in the rough but legible handwriting of a person who doesn't write often. Greetings, Commander. I am sorry to bother you with any requests when you are busy with a difficult and dangerous mission, but my situation is extremely serious. I have found the trail of the Spinner of Nightmares. Her agent in Erosian fell into our hands and revealed during interrogation that the last known lair of the Spinner was in Alushinira, in a block called the Ten Thousand Delights. Knowing the habits of the Spinner of Nightmares, I'm inclined to believe that she used to live in the heart of a giant brothel. My poor Lori might still languish in this horrible place. I'm begging you to look for her or any traces of the Spinner. My duty has been done. I want to help the society by providing funds? Uh, that amount is unacceptable. Uh, my companions need an experienced instructor. Delamere. Okay, so I need to 
level Delamere correctly this time. Level 11, Slayer. Perception, Mobility, and Stealth. Athletics will be spare. Feet, Rapid Shot. Level 12, Still Slayer. Uh, one point in Dexterity. Slayer Talent, Opportunist. Level 13 should be Fighter. Specifically, Mutation Warrior. Which will give us the Mutagen. But removal of armor training, which is perfectly fine for uh, an archer. As for the feet, improved critical. Longbow. I'm almost tempted to do short bow, but. And the bonus combat feat should be improved snapshot. Now she is level correctly. Then we should take fighter again. Level 14 feet, greater snapshot. Level 15, fighter. And the feat should be combat reflexes. Mythic rank 1 should be the bigger they are. And I'm not reading all of these. If you want to read them, then please pause the video. Uh, then we have Rapid Shot Mythic. Then we have Distracting Shots. Probably should have said like that like uh, 80 episodes ago or something. Level 4. Deadly Aim Mythic. And level 5 should be Ranging Shots. Complete. And that I am prepared. dismissed all of my buffs. Great. Uh, is there some way I can get a coin for the middle city? I think we can get one for the flesh markets. I'm pretty sure there's a portal here somewhere. Yeah, there is one there. Real long black mask. Okay, that I need to read. It. A stern looking demon stands before you, bristling with what seems an arsenal of weapons, and his copious scars suggest he's been hacked to pieces more than once. His face is hidden under a grotesque obsidian mask attached to his flesh by thin straps ending in hooks. The hooks are threaded into the skin, and the wounds bleed profusely as if inflicted mere moments ago. The mask resembles a sinister black mollusk enveloping the face of its victims. When he speaks, the slaver's voice is muffled. Greeting, stranger. I am Weirlong, legend of the Battle Bliss. Are you looking to buy some battle slaves, or do you need weapons for yourselves? yourself and your servants um show me the weapons you're selling my gladiators come from a range of planes and are accustomed to fighting in different styles so i have quite a wide selection i am positive you will find something that fits your hand no matter how many hands nature gave you <laughs> and the items i have here are the best examples of nahindrian weapons and armor I keep calling them nahindrian Rumors have been going around about some magical Nahindrian crystals that grant immense power to their owners. No one knows for certain where they come from or what they really are, but everyone desires them. Lushinira has become obsessed with all things Nahindrian. That's why everyone in Lushinira calls top quality goods Nahindrian now. Uh, 
Okay, so this guy does have a couple of interesting items. Let's see here. Um, Okay, that one is pretty decent. Most of these items we do not need. That one looks very interesting. That one I've been holding. Power. And is good as well. is also quite good except for the fact that most of my people cannot wear breastplates that's interesting so many good things here this was the one that i wanted the gold coin from the flesh markets um, I am a bit interested in those belts, though. Yeah, I'll buy them. Uh, it's We're not going to have any issues when it comes to money anyways. Uh, in my last... <laughs> when I played this on my own, I uh, had like 3 million, so money is not a problem. Uh, at least not from now on out. I am also considering this one. Okata. Who did I have who wanted to build up Okata? I found somewhere. Right, no one. I was on my own. Uh... I don't think I want to buy that for 101,000. The, uh, the ability is good. The fact that it's bleed uh, is interesting because it does make them continue to bleed and it has synergy with, uh, with Caladorn's abilities. But the specific thing here, whenever the leader confirms a critical hit, uh, I can probably get this down to 18 with feats, but 18 to 20, it isn't exactly astoundingly good. But the thing is, I really need bows. I'll buy it. It's fine. Good. Okay. Do we need to use that gold coin? I don't think so. I think it just automatically... Yeah, I think it automatically just works. We need to go back to... Um... Yeah, there we go. Nexus. Because I need to rest again due to that... All my buffs disappearing. Um... However, I shall pause the recording briefly. Um, because I will actually go back to the flesh market and sell to that guy all of my mundane items, and then I will go back here, and I will look at the equipment of my characters, because if I do that in recording, that's basically 15 minutes of an episode, and I don't think that is that interesting. Um, I might give a very quick 
like a rundown of what I've done, but don't count on it because I'm very likely to forget. But be right back anyways. Before I go through the equipment, though, I should uh, level up these uh, guys quickly. Arushale should uh, continue on her ranger path. With level 15 feet being shattered defenses. Her favorite enemy should be uh, demons of slaughter and demons of magic. That's Arushale out of the way. Then we have Staunton. Level 16, War Priest. Is. No, the level 15, I mean, War Priest. Uh, improved Cleaving Finish. And improved Vital Strike. That's easy enough. Grey Boar. Level 15. We have taken four levels of Ranger, which is correct. Now we should take go back to Slayer. His feet should be improved critical. Dwarven War Axe. Then we have Regil. Level 15. We should take Blood Rager. Uh... Skills are largely irrelevant now. His level 15 feet should be improved critical with Gnome Hooked Hammer. Uh, bonus feet toughness. And it doesn't say what I should take as his second bonus feat, but uh, definitely Lightning in Reckless out of those. As for his spells, uh, Mage Armor, that's always good. Level 2. We have all the. I, we can take Bear's Endurance, I suppose. And Social is basically just leveling up because he's just a cleric, but he does have a feat. What did I jot down as his feet? Shake it off. Interestingly enough, I thought I'd taken that much earlier, but apparently not. And again, he's not prone to going into close combat, as per se. Uh, Onilana, level 15. The feet here should be weapon focus. Long sword. Be taking over Vasila before the end of this chapter. Mercy cursed. Um, this is Jogo companion of Social, which at level twelve should get one point in strength. Then we have Oslito, level 15. The feat should be Heavy Barding. And then finally, I think... No, we have two more. No, three more. So, Nenio. Level 15, Lore Master. Fifteen feet, elemental focus, cold. Level seven spells, legendary proportions, and we have caustic eruption. We have key shout. We have true scene communal. So joyful rapture. Then we have Ember. Whom 
I also have done a mistake with because her level... No, I haven't. Her level 15 should be one level of sorcerer and it should specifically be cross-blooded. Her level 15 feet should be skill focus or arcana. She wants to take gold dragon bloodline with a bonus feat of spell specialization, I think. Hellfire Ray. Then she wants to take Brass Dragon. Can you do the same there? The one spell is not really that important. Uh, so. And then we have Camellia. Level 15. Should be fighter. Yes, she's multiclassing heavily. And this should be basic fighter. Trickery and... Deception. Her feet should be improved unarmed, right? Bonus feet should be rain style. And I think that's it. So be right back again. There we go. I've uh, gone through all of the equipment and this not much point in me going through all of it because there was a lot of things that I changed. This one, I might want to change this at some point, but it is actually quite good for now. Um, oh, the minus four penalty to will is not that good. Hmm... But I think I'll keep it for now. I mean, he's undead. Or basically undead. So most of the will spells he automatically saves versus... Back to the flesh markets. And we need to talk to a couple of people here. But let's buff. Follow my. A grotesquely fat demon speaks to a demoness standing in front of him. His voice irritated, yet slightly sycophantic. If you want to get these sweet Azimars for the 10,000 delights, cough up 50,000. Just look at how delicious they are. These girls haven't been yet, haven't yet been whipped. Your clients will be clamoring for them. And after they become too worn out, they'll make a magnificent stew. I'll give you 30 if you stop talking rubbish, Dionk. Or keep going and you can steer clear of my Palace of Delights. You can pleasure yourself on your own, you fat chunk of rotten meat. You want to get on Shivaro's bad side? Do you really want that? The Asimar slaves standing nearby try to avoid looking at the angry demoness. Even in their miserable position, they retain the mark of inner purity and nobility inherent to their kind. Puffing himself up, the fat demon answers abruptly and angrily. Fifty thousand. For these delightful, innocent creatures, your shabby and worn-out demonesses cannot hope to compete with. That is my final offer. 
stay away from the Ten Thousand Delights. You can have your own little morsels pleasure you from now on, you greedy, horny piece of shit. The disgustingly fleshy demon greets you with a wave, his arm encased in roll after roll of fat. Allow me to present my living wares, the finest household slaves to serve you and entertain your body and spirit, and they can satiate even the most exquisite cravings. The demon accompanies his last claim with voluptuous lip-smacking, looking pleased. Um... Here. Uh, what were you arguing about with that demoness? She wanted to buy my beautiful Azimar concubines for her palace of pleasures, the Ten Thousand Delights. Unfortunately, her common sense and good taste couldn't compete with her greed. She offered me a paltry price, next to nothing, instead of gratefully paying the full sum for these slaves. Offering 30,000 for a group of innocent pure Azimars shipped here with the utmost care. No one has laid a single finger on them. No one has taken a single bite out of them. It's simply outrageous. Who are you? I am Dionk, the slave trainer. When I was younger and much, much slimmer, I was a dashing raider. I spent my days abducting concubines from the other planes for the harems of the most powerful lords of the abyss. My experience, however, has shown me that raising and training pleasure slaves from an early age is a much more profitable and much less risky business. And that's why I now own the largest and most respectable slave farm, where I breed representatives of various races from different planes. Though I haven't entirely given up the raiding. Its deceptively slow movements and slow folds of flesh fail to hide the powerful muscles beneath. This demon could likely lift a wagon with two horses by himself. Show me what you have for sale. Just feast your eyes on them. The most exquisite pleasure slaves raised in comfort and luxury at your service. They are well trained, neat, docile and stand ready to become ideal servants for your manor. All of them are young and healthy, in a perfect state of, uh, ripeness. The demon bursts into sickening cackling, and then whispers to you confidentially. Of course, we have made sure that their tender flesh meets the expectations of even the most demanding gourmet. They have no inkling of what awaits them, so you need not worry about fear spoiling the meat, making it tough and bitter. Beautiful, athletic, and well-groomed young men and women of different races smile sweetly at you. Their cheerful looks aren't marred by the slightest hint of intelligence. These slaves remind you of happy and well-fed sheep grazing in the pasture. The slaver's eyes widen and he starts to speak, nearly hyperventilating. Just recently, one of my slave-hunting crews returned, bringing me a most beautiful gift. A group of young, fresh, pure Azimar girls, full of mouth-watering innocence. All of them are beauties in their prime, caught with the utmost care unwounded. Shamira will take an interest in them, I wager. Because of her origin, she loves having her fun with Azimars. There are countless ways one can use such a valuable acquisition. Though, if you ask me, the smartest way is to treat yourself to a medium-rare fillet with rich, meaty gravy. The Azimar women look pale and scared, but even in captivity they manage to retain their dignity and refuse to let the demons savour their fear. As Dionk continues his nauseating commentary, they raise their chins higher and do their best to maintain cold, detached expressions. Such beauties should be enjoying life and delighting others with their loveliness, bathing their faces in tears in the middle of a slave market. Darren casts a grim sidelong look at the captured Azimar woman. His hand reaches for his coin purse. How much do you want for them? The demon pointedly ignores the count and looks only at you. Would you like to buy these girls? Well, we can negotiate a deal. But I warn you now, they won't come cheap. I have to go. 
I'll be absolutely delighted to see you here again. Come back and we'll pick out the most delicate, graceful and well-trained slaves for you. His tiny eyes, hiding in the folds of his flesh, intently study your figure. His tongue greedily licks his thick lips, revealing small but numerous sharp teeth. Are we in trouble yet? Uh, don't mind me. Let us bide our time. Missed me already. A bright future awaits us. You may have an inkling Everyone of what is about to happen based on what I'm doing. I'm here. Where else would I be? See here, greater mutagen. I think strength and constitution. What? I can't. What? Oh, okay. We will didn't, win this war. Didn't know I can do that. Not entirely sure why I have this. I think that it's already included in the weapon or in Crusader's Edge. I should look through their spells as well. No mistakes. Why haven't I made this into a permanent buff inside of the buff that I run? Our duty calls. Wait, echolocation is overwritten by something, isn't it? Time's not waiting. I have no idea what this thing does. I should test it. It is time for you to die, you fat sack of shit. Actually, I'll buy the Azimar slaves. I see you are a connoisseur. I'd like to warn you that these little birds will cost you a pretty penny. 
They were probably scared of the Madam of the Ten Thousand Delights, but for Shamira, to whom I intended to sell these fresh Azimar beauties, the fifty thousand is spare change. I am willing to sell them to you for the same price. If we do not intervene, these women will be doomed by the celestial blood that flows in their veins. It's nothing more tantalizing for a demon than befouling, abusing, and destroying any being with ties to the upper planes. We have no right to stand by and lead these unfortunates to a terrible fate of torture and death. Deal. The fat demon glows with happiness. You won't regret it. In the abyss, goods like these are a rarity. I wish you the most exquisite enjoyment of your purchase. If you wish, I can give you an excellent recipe for braised shanks. Just send one of your household slaves along to pick it up. The demon winks at you and then looks at the Azimars with palpable longing. The slaves star stare at you with a mixture of hope and fear in their eyes. Their faces drain of color as they wait for you to seal their fate. Not far from here, an Azimar is waiting for you. Go find him. He will provide you with shelter. The Azimar women look at you. Women look at you, their expressions piercing. You see a mixture of gratitude and awe in their eyes. Thank you, stranger. We did not expect any help in this terrible place. We will not forget it. Now, time for you to die, you fat sack of shit. Let's just let them run off. The fat creature lifts his thick legs slightly and stomps, making the ground shake. Then, the demon starts moving in a surprisingly nimble, nimble and flexible manner, his fat folds moving fluidly in ripples of skin and flesh. Trainer's work is never done. I'll make a fine slave out of you. You can try. So what does this thing do? Okay. Endure this. That did lots of damage to my own people as well. Make every strike count. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Distract them for me. Good to know. Precision and grace. Forwards. Also did strength damage to my own people. This will hurt. I think I want to dispel that thing again. treasures cover me all right i have to test I'll it make though short work of this speaking of testing can you switch to that a solid plan. And enable this and exsanguinate him. That's better. You won't survive me. Smite. The inheritor, guide my blade. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Many denizens of the city now know the commander's name and recognize him on sight, apparently. 
I'll have my money back, thank you very much. <laughs> Huddled together and wiping the demonic blood off their faces and clothes, the slaves stare at you in terror. Did you kill Daddy Dunk? You won't hurt us, will you? Take us to our to your palace. We'll obey you. We will serve you well. Explain how to get to the Nexus. It's my camp. You'll serve me there. Hurrah! A new palace. It is is it somewhere high in the mountains, I wonder? Are there many guards? How is the food? Is there a pool where we can swim in tortoise milk? These poor souls raised by demons like cattle for the slaughter. You have broken their golden chains. At first, they will hate the harsh world you have delivered them into, but only because they are so naive. I, however, celebrate your compassion. On that note, I think we need to wrap up this episode. Uh, we are going to uh, spend the next episode in the uh, flesh markets as well, because uh, we have to do a couple of conversations here. I should go uh, pick up Social. Switch out Darren with Social, but there are other slave traders that we need to um, <clears throat> talk to before we uh, get to that point. But for now, if you have any questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those in the comment section, of course. And I hope that you enjoy the episodes, and I hope that I'll see you all in the next episode.